I'm Edmund White. I'm a field product manager here at Avpoint. And I'm John Hodges, VP of Product Management at Avpoint. And we're here today to talk to you about classification and security. So when we talk to our customers, uh, there's a real want and a real need to classify their content in SharePoint, but not a really good way to do that. Yeah, and without the classification standards, it makes it really hard to find that information again later in search. Classification can also be, um, and should also be, the foundation piece of your governance policies and SLAs. Yeah, and so if you don't know how to classify your data, how are you going to be able to differentiate what security policies apply to it? So AppPoint Solutions come along to really help with this problem by automating a lot of the tags that users are normally responsible for. So on upload, we provide assisted tags that are going to fill in a lot of the blanks that users just don't know today. It's a great point, John. Uh, what's great about AppPoint is we can actually take that a step further uh, and use that classification to uh, maintain our uh, governance policies around the security of that content as well. So in this video, we're going to show you how to classify the content in real time as you upload it to SharePoint. Then we're going to use that classification to enforce the permission structure on that content. I've logged into my project site in SharePoint as an end user with full control to this site. When this site was provisioned, the site owner agreed that we were not going to store any sensitive content in this site. Now, there might be other areas of SharePoint that are set up to hold sensitive content, but this site was configured with specific permission profiles to support our business objective, but um, that is not restrictive enough to support uh, storing that restricted content. Proper classification is important to us, especially classifying sensitive content. So additionally, as part of the provisioning process, we applied a custom content type to our documents library that has a sensitive content column end users are required to fill in this column when they upload content into the library. So the question is, we set up the site correctly during provisioning, but how do we make sure that this site remains within compliance for its entire life cycle? The power in using Avpoint uh, automation is that even though I've logged in as an end user with full control, this site was provisioned with protections that prevent me from using or modifying the site in a manner that is out of compliance with my, co uh, with my company's policies. So as a part of my day-to-day -day business, um, I need to upload a document to my project site. Normally, I would be required uh, as part of this to fill out uh, this custom content type. But as you can see, Avpoint Compliance Guardian has done that for me. This can be any type of field. In this case, it's a managed metadata field. And it can be a suggestion, uh, enforced, or even a validation of what I, as the end user, filled out. Automating this classification is valuable on its own from a productivity perspective um, and because we know that good classification is a foundation for many other SharePoint processes such as workflows, records, search, uh, and even migrations. So. I'm now going to upload uh, some more documents using a drag and drop method. Uh, so I'm just grabbing the whole folder from my desktop. Um, and I'm not necessarily uh, being very careful about what I'm adding to the, to the library. This opens us up to some risk, as we'll see. So what's, a, what's actually happening here are two things. First, like before, we've automatically tagged uh, the content as it was uploaded uh, in real time uh, by scanning uh, the contents of the particular document. 
uh, and determining the correct sensitivity tag uh, to choose from the managed metastate from the managed metadata store uh, in this example. So in this example, it was no compliance issues. Second, you can see these other four documents that are showing up in red were also tagged and classified automatically. But when we looked inside the file, we found that it actually contains sensitive content so based on this sensitivity classification, we've actually restricted access to this content within the library. So what the software has done here is first identified what level of sensitivity this site is provisioned to contain. Second, in real time, it's filled out the required field in our custom content type with a sensitivity classification for the document based on the contents of that document. And third, based on both of these two facts, it took action on content that doesn't belong in this site. From an administrator's perspective, we're also getting alerts and reporting saying exactly what was tagged uh, and what actions were taken based on those tags. So if I log into AvPoint Compliance Guardian interface as an administrator, what I see are reports for the site collection that we were just uh, doing this upload on. And I uh, am provided with details on what was tagged and what actions were taken uh, based on those classification tags. In this uh, simple example, it's a quarantine action. So we've identified and protected the content but we also need to ensure that the appropriate permissions policy is maintained as well. Remember, I'm logged into this SharePoint site as a full control end user, and I'm using this site to collaborate with many different colleagues in my organization. In this situation, I just don't want anyone to have any issues controlling their content or taking any actions that they need to take within this site, which is actually exactly what I should be thinking, uh, since I want people to be able to collaborate effectively without any hindrances. So what I'm going to do is add everyone to the SharePoint owners group with full control, uh, which we can do here. And then we can come into the settings to take a look uh, at that setting in place. Now, this is kind of a nightmare for an administrator. We've made sure that specific and appropriate permissions were provisioned with this site, and we need to be able to verify that the content is not being exposed to people that should not have access to it. Again, the power in using AvPoint automation is that during the provisioning process, controls were established that come through periodically and make sure that these specific changes are identified and fixed automatically. We're not interested in being restrictive or intrusive to the end users. We're granularly controlling the specific configurations that add risk to our sites and content. So what's actually happened in the time it's taken me to explain this is my docav policy enforcer rule has run. And if we hit refresh on the page here, we will see that um, it identified the violation and removed it, uh, that is the inappropriate everyone group from the SharePoint owners group. Again, reports and alerting were generated around this discovery and remediation, and they were delivered to both the end user who made that change as well as to the administrators. So as you can see here, we've actually been able to ensure ongoing compliance to security policies for the site in a minimally intrusive way and actually promoted productivity through automatic tagging and setting the tone for correct use of SharePoint. And then we're going to use those classifications to enforce uh, specific permissions on that content. Why are you shaking your head? 
I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. I shook your head. <laughs> you were like, no, no, no. <laughs>